Hey guys, happy Monday. It's Britta back with another Monday review. Today I wanted to review an exciting new product. This is the Kosas Cloud Set Powder. I've heard so many people on YouTube rave about this product. Carly and I have really been loving um, Kosas's products. They're a clean brand at Sephora um, and this is a talc-free powder. You guys know I'm allergic to talc so I can't use it. Um, so that really caught my attention. It's $34, which I feel like is a fair price for a powder, something you use, you know, ultimately every time you do your makeup. I um, mean, the light purple translucent packaging is so beautiful. So here's what it looks like. It's a baked formula, so it has a dome. Um, I'm gonna read the claims quickly on Sephora's website. So they say it's a super soft, sheer setting and smoothing powder baked with skincare that sweeps away shine, not glow, feels like nothing, but looks like everything. Um, so some of the highlighted ingredients are bamboo stem extract that absorbs excess oil, passion fruit leaf extract that reduces the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, and Chinese peony that visibly reduces pores. Um, so overall, this has been getting rave reviews. Like I said, $34, you get 9.5 grams. I feel like that's an okay price. Um, and I was really excited because I generally love baked formulas. If you're new here, I have dried combination skin, um, mostly dry like in the winter time. In the summer, it's more combo, but overall really dry. So I don't really like like a heavy setting powder. Um, as of, you know, until this powder, the two that I reached for the most were the Hourglass Translucent Veil Powder. I feel like everyone loves that powder because it is very like, you know, non-distinguishable on the face. And then I also love the Lawless translucent setting powder. I don't know the actual name, but I will link that down below. Um, so those were like the two loose powders I had been using. So I was excited for a baked formula. I feel like this is easier to use. So first I want to talk about, yeah, the application. I love this more than those other ones because the packaging, if you guys have that hourglass powder, you know that the packaging is horrendous. It does not come through those holes like the sifter. And so it's really hard to like even get the product out. And then I feel like I dispense too much. So I waste a lot of product. And then sometimes I pick up too much on my brush. This one is perfect because it's a baked formula. So you can easily dip your brush in there, get the perfect amount, tap it off, dust it on your face, you're good to go. It's very quick, very easy. So I love the application. Um, I think this color is actually really good for me. I have the shade Feathery, um, and I it is really sheer though, so I feel like I could use a multitude of colors because it is so sheer. It doesn't really disperse any or like deposit any pigment onto your face. So I want to get into the formula now because here is where I have some pros and cons. Okay, so a pro for this formula is I do feel like when they say that it sets the makeup without like reducing the glow, I think that's actually true. Like I'm wearing it today. I only have highlighter like on the upper portion of my face, the Ilia highlighter. It's the one I wear like every day. Um, and like the rest of my face is pretty glowy just from this powder alone. And also keep in mind, I just did my makeup. So as the day goes on, I'll probably look a little more fresh. Like right now I might still look a little bit dry on camera, um, but I'm sure you guys have that problem too. Anyway, so I really love how it adds like a little bit of a glow to the face, but it does set down. So I'm able to, you know, like layer on bronzer and blush and blend it out really beautifully without tugging because it does set the face, but it doesn't take away the glow. So that I actually really love about this. My gripe with it is setting the under eyes. So I know there are some people like Carly doesn't set her under eyes ever. I feel like if I don't set my under eyes, my concealer creases almost immediately. And to me, that looks like more obvious than you know, let's say a dry set under eye. Um, regardless, we're, you know, we're 30 now, so it's just the under eyes are aging. But anyway, so I always set my under eye and usually I don't even like using the hourglass powder under the under eye. I like the lawless because I feel like it gives like a satin matte finish. So it just makes the under eye like less visible. It doesn't stand out as much. So even though it might look a little bit dry and you can see my fine lines, I just find that it really sets in my concealer. So like the coverage is still there, which I really like. So I generally use the lawless powder under my eyes and then like setting my nose because I usually go over my nose with a concealer because I have a lot of visible pores there. So I'll put a little bit of concealer on. I just like to set it down um, you know, before going in with anything else, um, so, so that it stays in place, especially wearing a mask. I feel like it's like bound to rub off on my nose. So as much as I can minimize that, I like to. And so I just don't love how this powder looks on my nose and under my eyes. I feel like under the eyes, it does smooth the under eyes, which I like, but it takes away some of the coverage 
And I feel like it kind of, when I, it could be the brush I'm using too, um, but I'm using the Real Technique setting brush. I've used that for years with various powders. And I feel like when I go to set the under eye, it almost like picks up some of the concealer. I think it's because this is the most finely milled powder I've ever used that it can't like set because it's so finely milled that it kind of like picks up the concealer as it's setting and gets a little bit patchy and I feel like it takes away some of the coverage. So maybe I do need to use, you know, like a beauty sponge. I could try it with that um, and that might make it work a little better. Um, but I did find that a quick fix is you know, I set it with the powder and then I just go in with my sponge with like residual concealer and just go over top. And I do feel like that helps like bring back a little bit of um, the coverage and there's still some powder in there that sets it. It's just a little, you know, more finicky. I have to play around with it a little bit. Um, and the same thing kind of on the nose. I feel like it kind of takes away some of the coverage as I'm setting. That's like less obvious though. I feel like it's way more obvious under my eye um, because I don't really need coverage on my nose. I'm just trying to set the concealer that I put there. So the nose is less of an issue. It's really the under eyes. Yes, it does kind of help to like blur because it's so finely milled. It doesn't look cakey at all, but it takes away some of the coverage. And like I said, ended up looking a little bit splotchy on me. And I was watching Jamie Page's video and she set her under eyes and it looked so flawless. Granted, she's a few years younger than me. So maybe her under eyes are just a little more youthful, but it looked so good on her. And so I was really sad that it didn't really work under my eyes, but Overall, I do want to recommend this powder to you guys because like I said, to set the face, so previous, like I mentioned, I used the Lawless powder to set under my eyes and the Hourglass to set my face and the packaging on the Hourglass, I was just like so over it. So I'm thrilled to have found a new face powder. I feel like I will continue to purchase this just to set my face. I truly love the luminosity it brings to the skin. I love that it sets um, so, you know, I can layer powder products on top or even creams actually layer on top of this because it is that finely milled, the most finely milled powder I've ever used on my face. So because of that, I feel like I will continue to purchase this and would recommend it to you guys as a face powder. It's an under eye powder. I personally wouldn't use it there moving forward um, unless maybe, um, I don't know, unless I can get it to work with a different application method that's a little bit more seamless. But overall, I still think this is an amazing powder, a great product. I just wanted to put that disclaimer out there because if you have dry, you know, more mature under eyes like me, I don't want you to get this powder based on my recommendation and then have it not work for you there as well. But like I said, it's an amazing product. I feel like I'm really excited to see what else Kosas comes out with. So I would recommend this. And if you've tried it, please let me know your thoughts down below. I'm curious to see how other people are liking this um, aside from like the girls I watch on YouTube. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great week.